Okay. So um, I have a chair, I have some weights, I have a mat, and at the end we're going to do some um, hip and back stretches. And I was going to use my magic circle. If you don't have a magic circle, that's fine. Grab a yoga strap or a um, heavy resistance stretchy band. Okay. Um, and we're going to start standing using the chair. All right. And I'm just going to make sure my phone is not going to make terrible sounds. Okay. Okay, great. So um, we're going to face the chair and we're going to start with about hip distance feet facing the chair. Um, and we're just going to start by bending the knees and sending the tail down and drawing the belly in. When you bend your knees, we're not sticking the booty out. We're staying nice and straight through the spine and just coming straight down. So the knees are going to come towards the toes and then push through the feet all the way. In fact, come forward into the front of the foot, push down through the toes, lift the heels up and then put them right back down. Okay. So it's like a little bit of a flow, bend the knees again, tail down, belly in, um, and then press all the way up and then push through the toes. Take this as a little exercise for the feet more than anything else. As you bend your knees, just peek at them and make sure they're sort of tracking with the middle or the fourth toe. And then come on up. If you have any tenderness in the knees through this, um, I think a certain amount of feeling in the knees is normal when we bring our knees forward like this. So you know uh, what, you know, feelings are not good feelings. Um, but this is definitely gonna, this is a move that actually is supposed to kind of strengthen the knees. Um, among other things. So go at your own range of motion. I'm just going to do three more straight spine, really a great opportunity to start taking a few deeper breaths. And then make your way back to flat feet. We're gonna bring the chin toward the chest, roll forward and get your hands out to the seat of the chair. So as you can see, I'm sending my hips back and trying to keep my hips over my feet, over my heels really. And then I'm gonna bend the elbows and use my arms for support as I continue to lower myself towards the ground. This enables me to really release my head. See if you can let your head be as heavy as it is. And then um, soften your knees and start to come back up just until your arms are straight. So it's like a little micro roll down. Soften your elbows, continue to roll through the spine bringing your head towards the floor slash probably in front of the seat of the chair. This is a huge stretch through the spine and the legs for me. And then come back up again. So keep your knees soft if that's a better choice. We're going to do this two more times. Let's let the head be heavy, 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 heavy. Great. Maybe you're going a little bit further each time. And then come on back up. And we've got one more. And then come all the way up. Come on up, walk your feet forward a bit. If um, you're not able to bring your hands under your shoulders and your feet underneath your hips. And we're now gonna cat cow through the spine. So soften your knees, arch the back, stick the tush out, Send the collarbones away from one another and then round through the spine. Let's do two more like that. Try to integrate a deep breath. One more. Good. 
and then come back to that nice flat spine here. Um, bring your left hand center, so it's right underneath your chest, and then bring the right arm up. You may be changing the legs a little bit, and then we're gonna switch arms. I'm kind of bending my right knee and straightening my left. As I put my left hand down, bend the left knee, straighten the right leg. One more each way. And other side. And then come back to center. And we're gonna walk the feet forward, soften the knees, and come all the way up to stand, okay? We're gonna come, I'm gonna move the chair out of the way. We're coming down onto the mat, um, and I'm coming down to my belly. Okay, all the way down, and you're gonna prop yourself up on your forearms, spread the fingers. I have my elbows pretty much uh, uh, pulled into my ribs. So see if you can lift your chest a little bit and draw your chin in toward your throat and look all the way down. Give yourself a double chin and then stick the chin out and look all the way up to the ceiling. Give yourself a double chin and stick the chin out, look up. Two more, breathe. One more. And then look straight ahead and look right and left. And left. And right. And left. One more each way. Come back to the center. Widen your elbows and slide all the way down. Bring one hand on top of the other and rest the head down, okay? So let yourself settle down into your mat. We're gonna take, I don't know, three to five deep breaths, depending on how slow your breathing is. Just try to relax your shoulders and breathe right into your waist. Fill up your waist and then tighten up the corset. One more. Good, so you're gonna keep that breathing going but slide the arms out to the sides. Lift the chest, push gently down through the palms. When you push down through your palms, also pull them back a little bit, like you're pulling the rug or the floor back towards the direction of your feet. And push down with your pubic bone to look forward and get a deeper, longer lift through the upper spine. Let's lower down as you lower down, chin in, forehead down. And try it again. Let's inhale on the way up. And exhale to come down. One more. And exhale to come down. Good. And then bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Come on up to hands and knees. Okay, so this is where we're going to start to use some of the weights just a little bit. I've got right next to me fives and eights. Probably for this part, I'm just gonna use the fives. We will see. Um, <clears throat> get your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. First, curl your toes forward. And why not, let's just do one cat cow here. Round. And arch. And then come back to center. It always helps me kind of find center. When you get to center, draw the ribs and the belly button in so you have a lot of abdominal support. Bring your knees and your feet close or together. Extend the right leg out, but keep the toes down. I literally just slid the right leg out 
and then slid it right back in. Left leg, slide it out. When you do, notice to keep your hips nice and even, and then come back in. Right leg, slide out, and come in. Left leg, slide out, and keep going here for just another minute. If you don't have socks on that, are, that help you slide, like mine are right now, or if you're wearing shoes, just hover right over the mat, okay? Um, that is the same thing, pretty much. I'm doing one more each way. And then I'm gonna extend the right leg out and hold. I'm gonna bring my left arm out to the side with my fingertips down. Chest lifts away from the ground. Both the leg and the arm just hover off the ground an inch. Hold here. Eight, seven, six, five. Belly is in, four three, two, come on back, slide in, send the left leg out, slide the right arm out, get your lift away from the floor, and then just an inch or two off the ground with the arm and the leg, eight, breathe, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then come on back in. Come back to hands under shoulders. Pull your knees underneath you a little bit more. I have my toes forward. Round slightly through the spine. We're gonna lift the knees. Inhale deeply. Exhale, knees up. Let's um, intertwine a breath with this. Inhale to come down and quietly, slowly lower. Exhale to come up. Four more. Inhale to come down. And three. Let's do one more here. And then come all the way down, uncurl the toes, sit back on your heels all the way, rest your hands on your thighs, bring your right ear towards your right shoulder, and then your left ear towards the left shoulder. One more each way. If you can't sit back on your heels because of knee or hip or foot or whatever, just um, go within a range of motion that you can. Come back to the center with your head, and let's come back here. Okay, so I'm gonna do knees to the other feet together again, and then I'm gonna reach out, grab my five. Um, so my right hand isn't out under my shoulder anymore. It's a little bit more slightly right of center. Um, if this is uncomfortable for you to have your hand down like this the whole time, um, a lot of people really like having something to hold on to instead. So grabbing a weight that's a little bit larger, like an eight or a 10, is a really great way to work the hand and the wrist in a different way, okay? I'm not gonna do that, um, but you can. Okay, straighten out your spine. We're gonna bend the left elbow in towards the ribs and then go right back down and just tap the mat. Lift right up into the side and come down quick, um, abdominal check-in. Pull your ribs in, pull your belly button in. See if you can keep that. Up and down. This is a small move. We're doing four more. Four, three, two. Now hold. Extend the arm. Straighten out your shoulders. Pull those ribs in again. Bend. Lower down, tap. Come right back up. Extend the arm. Bend. Lower down, tap. Let's let this move a little bit more. Six. And five. And four. And three. And two. And one. Put the weight down in the center. Switch to the other arm. My left hand is slightly left of center. I'm coming back in, so the uh, right elbow is just gonna come right up into the ribs, 
quick abdominal check-in, pull the ribs in, pull the belly button in. Small little tap, lift, tap. And this is a nice idea. It's, it's, I, I do recommend um, if you're working on your form, like I assume you are, that you have a mirror in your space. Um, a lot of people end up up here with their shoulder when they're doing this. We're just trying to keep the shoulders in alignment with one another. We're gonna add the arm extension, come up, hold, reach out, hold for a second, belly is in, check in, bend, come down and tap. Let's do another one, kind of slow. Up, extend, hold, let's get that arm really straight. Bend, and now we'll let it move a little more. Six. And five. And four. Three. And two. And one. Put the weight down and come back. Sit back on your hands for just a second. Quick little wrist roll. We're gonna do a little bit more wristy stuff. So uh, just give them a little twirl for a second. I'm gonna lose a layer here. Okay, so um, come on back, hands under shoulders. Six modified wide elbow push-ups. Ready? Your knees are wherever you want them to be. Deep breath. Abdominal check in and six. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way up to sit. Bring your knees forward, come around and sit on your tush. And then bring the legs around. And we're going to bring the hands right behind us. I have my hands under my shoulders, my feet just a little bit wider than my hips. Lift your chest, really lift it nice and high, but pull your chin down a little bit, take a nice deep breath, and then push through the heels to lift the hips up a little bit, and then tap down. And tap down, five more. And four. And three, two, one more. Lower down, now lift and hold. You can um, look back behind you if you like the way that feels. For another five, four, three, two. Lower all the way down. Straighten the legs out. Keep your legs a little bit wider than your shoulders. And then straighten your arms straight out in front of you, okay? Get these legs as straight as you can. If it's impossible to straighten your legs, just keep your knees soft, but prioritize the lift in your spine. Take a nice deep breath. And then stretch forward. Draw the abdominals in as you reach through your fingers, your heels, and the crown of the head. Draw the belly in, shoulders down, sit tall. And big stretch again. One more here. Sit up really tall. And again. And then come all the way up to sit. And we're going to come back to push-ups, okay? Maybe you're doing them the same way. Modified wide elbow push-ups, knees down. Maybe you're in plank position, okay? Maybe you're coming to the wall. There's so many options. Do which one is right for you. We're gonna do six again. So we're not doing very many. Lengthen through the spine. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, and then walk back. We're flipping over again. Hands by the sides. Figure out how you want your hands to be here. 
Some people really like this fingertips forward situation. I don't like fingertips back at all, but I usually just gravitate towards fingertips out to the side. So try all three, see which one you like. Okay, this one we're gonna do a little different. Straighten the legs out. Um, keep your knees bent if that's a better choice. Take a nice deep breath and push through the legs. Hips up. Inhale down. Try to make sure that your hands are under your shoulders. Three more. And two. One more. We're going to do one more and hold. Five, keep breathing. Four, three, two, one. All the way down. Sit up nice and tall. <clears throat> Legs stay as wide as your mat or a little bit wider than your shoulders. Extend the arms out in front of you. Prioritize getting that straight spine. It's okay to soften your knees if you're tight there. Inhale and exhale. This exercise works the abdominals. As you exhale, you draw the abdominals in tight. One more. Come all the way up, bring the arms down. One more of each, slightly different though. <clears throat> well, if you choose to, this last set of push-ups here, again, you can do them in any way you like. I'm coming back to slightly modified with my knees down. Wide elbow push up, six, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lean back, bring the legs around. A little bit different this time. I'm not keeping my legs straight, coming back to bent knees. Feet as wide as the hips. <clears throat> Press down through the palms. Inhale. And exhale, come up again. Inhale down. And exhale up. Two more like this. One more. And the next one we're going to hold. And breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. All the way down. Extend the legs out. We're going into saw. For saw, the legs are about as wide as the shoulders, maybe a little bit wider. Arms come out wide. <clears throat> this is a breathing exercise. Inhale, sit up tall. Twist to the right, bring your left arm forward and your right arm back and up. Dive forward. Imagine you wanna to touch your pinky toe with your pinky finger and then come all the way up and sit tall. And rotate the other way. Try to keep your weight into both of your tush, sides of your tush. And then come back up. <clears throat> For example, when we twist to the right here, <clears throat> people often shift all their weight into the right tush. Try to keep your weight down into the left tush as well. And then come up and twist left. One more each way. Another side. And come all the way up and then bring the arms down. 
Okay, from here, we're gonna come onto our backs, flip yourself over, keep your weights close by. <clears throat> when you get onto your back, knees bent. Push down through your feet, just to engage the backs of the legs. Shoulders, let's pull them away from the ears. Quick little head move here to release some of those tight little muscles. Look right and left. And then come back to the center. <clears throat> and let's bring the arms straight up to the ceiling. Reach up. Again, neck is long. Push down through your feet. Roll up through your, through your spine. Just a gentle tuck through the low back. And then push through the feet as you bring your hips up. Try to lengthen the neck along the way. And then roll back down. And then release the tail. And we're going to come back up again. Roll back down. Each time you get to the bottom, take a moment of release where nothing is, where is happening. You're just totally relaxed. And then try it one more time. And then roll back down. Relax down at the bottom. Take an inhale, exhale. Bring your arms down. Walk your feet together. I'm going to roll to the side. I'm, um, I've decided to pick up one heavier weight. So I have an eight here. And I'm going to hold on to it just like this. So one hand on either side of the round part. And up to the ceiling with both arms. We're going to do some abdominal exercises. The weight is always optional, okay? So just put it to the side if it's not for you. Shoulders away from the ears. Let's get a really good abdominal connection and then bring the legs up. Feet together, knees together. Pull the knees in over your belly button just a little bit. Bring your chin toward your throat and then curl up and reach the weight towards your toes. And then inhale, come back down. Inhale, come back down. Five more. And four. Two more. All the way down, put your head down and keep the weight up towards the ceiling. Come back to a little bit more of a tabletop position. Pull the ribs and the belly button towards the back. Bring one leg up as you bring the other toes down. Point down, flex up. Point down, flex up. Point down, flex up. Breathe. Four, four, five, five, six. Six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Feet down, bend your elbows, relax the um, arms by your sides, take a nice deep breath. I'm going to switch this eight into one of my hands and I'm going to carefully grab the other one. We're gonna be resting the weights right on the pelvis here when we do a, um, a hip lift. Feet come a little bit wider than the hips. And of course you can add weight like I am or not. Always up to you, take a nice deep breath. And we're coming up for 10 with the hips. This is not an articulated exercise. Nice and straight and long through the back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Lower all the way down. Nice and carefully 
Put that weight down by your side. That could get awkward for your shoulders, so please be careful. And then come back where we were. A little different than before, but similar. Arms straight. Use your abdominals, pull the legs in. <clears throat> okay, so last time we did our chin up, curl up. We're gonna add one leg down as you bring the leg up. That's when you curl up. Other leg down. Three more sets. Head down, feet down for a moment. Take a nice deep breath. Legs come all the way up. Okay, two options here. Um, if you're really flexible, bring both legs up. And if you're not, just keep a little bit of a diamond shape here. Otherwise, legs are straight. One leg lower as the other one stays. Ooh, pull the ribs in and the belly button towards the floor here. And lower. Lower. Two. Two. Long neck. One. And one. Bend the knees, rest the parts, take a breath, grab that, carefully grab that other weight. Bring the weights to the hips again. Feet are a little bit wider than the shoulders. Push through your heels. Long neutral spine, come up. 10, nine, keep the knees wide. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold at the top. Lengthen your neck, knees are wide, push down through your heels to make sure your glutes are really firing. Little pulse up and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, come all the way down. Take a nice deep breath. I'm just gonna put the opposite weight down to the left just um, to keep my arms doing the same things. And we're coming back here one more time, so arms straight up, take a nice deep breath. <sighs> Legs come back up too. Okay, I'm probably gonna end up doing another set of the one leg at a time to come up. If you're in a place where you can bring both legs down and then come up, do that here. I don't think that's a good choice for me today. So you decide, take a nice deep breath. So it would be both legs down, everything curls up. Two more sets. breath for a minute. We're going to bring the legs right back up. Okay, if you're very flexible, the legs are straight, and if not, diamond heels together. Okay, um, arms are super long, both legs lower. Each time the legs come up, reach the knuckles for your ankles. Five more. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Oh yeah, grab that other weight carefully. Weights to hips, feet go wide, spine is nice and straight, push down through your heels to ignite the back of the legs and breathe, come up. 10, nine, Eight, knees stay wide. Seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, lift and hold, hold here, knees come lighter, and a little pulse out with the knees as you lift the hips. So knees wide, hips up. It's small movement. Six more. Six, five, four, three, two, one, all the way down. Okay, weights can go bye-bye on the sides here. Carefully put them down. Quick little spine stretch here. Bring your knees to the right or in one direction and then bring your arms up nice and wide. Look in the opposite direction of your knees and breathe. One more deep breath here. And then come back down with the arms, switch the knees over to the other side. Ooh, and breathe. Two more exhales. Okay, we are going to roll center again. And I want you to get that lovely magic circle of yours, please. Should have brought mine a little closer. <clears throat> okay, and we're gonna come back onto our backs and do a bit of hip stretches here. Um, let's start with the left leg. You can bring your left foot up in the pad of the circle, and let's keep the right leg bent for this first part. <clears throat> I, um, I'm gonna turn my palms so my palms are facing me. This helps me to just relax the shoulders a little bit, and then I'm gonna po point the foot and push the ball of the foot into the pad. <clears throat> and then flex the foot. And when I do, gently pull down on the side of the circle. Ooh. Point the foot, let the arms go long. And flex. And point. And flex. This next time you point and flex, this is like the most mobility you have. Really point, reach the toes to the ceiling and then really flex, pull the elbows down, lengthen out through your neck, soften your knee and pull the whole thigh in towards your ribs and your belly. Keep your legs central, not off to the left, and then slowly straighten out this right leg and breathe. One more deep breath here. Slide the right leg back in. Bring the left leg up to the ceiling. Turn your palms around. Actually, let's straighten the right leg out at this point. Um, continue to modify however you like. I'm gonna hold on only with my right hand to the circle and the left arm is gonna come out to the side. The leg comes over to the right, but not the hips and the back, okay? So my left side of my sacrum is down on the floor as I bring my leg over to the right. As you come over here, soften your knee a teeny bit and also um, bring the elbow up to the side. Take a nice deep breath here. And then come up through the center Give the circle to your left hand, 
bring the right arm down to the, the floor or the mat out there, and then start to bring this leg out to the left, maybe until you hit a wall. <laughs> and then come on back up again. And we'll go each way two more times. Bring your hand, right hand to the circle. Again, we're not picking up the, the back. We're keeping the back of you down. Only for the leg and the hip and the tush. And then come on back, switch your hands. And slowly bring the leg out to the left. And one more. Up and over. And up and out to the side. And then come on back up to the center and let's switch legs. Right leg up, left leg comes out. I'm gonna hold on with my left hand first. And yes, one side could feel very different from the other. Um, take a nice deep breath here. If you're more flexible, like this is, these are all, this, these are all stretches that uh, are, are very intense for me. If you're a lot more flexible and this is not as intense, you can feel free to have more range of motion than I am. Um, I'm just really isolating the outer hip. And then switch your hand and then the inner thigh. And then guide the circle back up. And P.S. If you're using a yoga strap or a, a band, you're just holding on to both sides of the band. And then switch the hand. Take your time here. Don't rush through this. And one more each way. And then last part here. And then come all the way up. And I'm going to bring both legs up um, towards that pad, right into the pad. The knees will go really wide. In fact, you can do like um, prayer feet here. And then bring the knees in towards the um, elbows. And pull your thighs towards your belly. And then use the circle to rock right and left. And then come back to the center, take the feet out and put them down. Bring the circle in between your inner thighs, just below the knee so it's not pressing on the knee joint. If you don't have a circle, grab something else like a ball, something that you can just add a little bit of resistance to. Push down on your, through your feet. We're keeping our hips down. Find a neutral spine here and then squeeze the circle. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Last one, just squeeze and hold for 10, 9, 8, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then take the circle out, relax the legs. Um, let's come on up to sit 
and then come on up to stand. You can bring your circle with you. We'll use it up at the top too, just a little bit. Similar move. Um, I guess I missed the sock organization situation today. I was hoping you wouldn't notice, but here I am talking about it. Okay, so now I'm gonna step inside of the circle and bring the circle just above the ankles. Toes forward, hands to hips, shoulders down. Walk out until you have just a little bit of uh, pressure out into the circle. And then shift towards the front of the foot and lift the heels just a little bit. Lower back, shift back into the heels and just lift the toes. Shift forward, lift the heels and slowly lower down. And then stand tall, lift just the toes. Three more like that. Three, use your toes, emojis, as you come up. And two more. Last time. Good. Keep the pressure out into the circle. Soften your knees and send your hips back. Bring the knees out towards the fourth toe and then bring the arms out nice and wide. Palms down. Shoulders down, belly button is in. Take a nice deep breath here. Sit further back into your heels. Continue to press out into the circle, knee, uh, knees and fourth toe. One more deep breath and sit back even a little bit further into those heels, belly button is in. And then push down through the feet, come all the way up, hook your thumbs, fingertips up, Relax your chin toward your chest, side stretch. And other side. One more each way. And then come back center, arms come down. Let the circle come off to the side. One more thing before you're free. Um, toes forward. Stand up nice and tall. Bring your thumbs together behind you or you can interlace your fingers if that's more fun. Stretch down through the fingers, lift the chest and look up. And then come back central, arms come around to reach forward, shoulders are down and we're gonna do a roll down. So inhale, push down through the feet and then chin to your chest, roll forward. Soften the knees, relax through the head like you did through the beginning of class. Let your head be as heavy as you can. Two more exhales here. One more. And then push down through the feet and come all the way up. That's it. That's all she wrote. Have a lovely day.